Okay, let's just pause it right there for a moment. If you're watching this for the first time, then what you don't know is that I recently spent a week in England tromping around the sites and slowly making my way to Leicester, England, where I spent two out of three days fishing the English canals for pike, chub, roach, rudd, and perch. So, if you have any interest at all in seeing that whole travel, check out the video on the BZ Hub. Now, I wanted this video to be equal parts entertaining as well as a tiny bit educational in case you ever find yourself in England. Plus, I I additionally have film explaining all the gear I brought with me, how well it performed, and what I would change for a return trip coming in a later video, so make sure to subscribe and look forward to that. But without further ado, I'm ready for some English fishing everyone, hit the like button, pack your tackle boxes, and let's get into it. Alright guys, we have finally made it to Angling Direct, which is pretty cool. It's been a uh, about a mile and a half walk from the hotel, but it's hopefully gonna be worth it. Let's go see. Know some guys who would lose their cool in here, dump a thousand bucks in this place. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've made it down to the canal. Well, as long as I don't get attacked by any swans, I think we should be good. These guys are wild. Their actions are wild. We have got something new today. I am honestly. Uh, I, it's not a question of if it'll break, it's when it will break. It is a uh, telescopic rod. Couldn't tell you who it's by. Let's see. Plus to know, 7 foot, medium heavy power, 10 to 20 pound line. We're not using 10 to 20 pound line today. We are using much lighter line, but it's good to know that it can handle that, I guess, if we decide to go after carp. Alrighty, this is going to be our uh, lure of the morning. I got a uh, plummet from the guy to see what the depth of this canal is, but these swans are like elongating their neck down to the bottom and reaching off the bottom. So I, I don't know. I assume maybe it's four feet deep or so. Also got a new hat. Told my wife if I went to the tackle shop and I saw a hat I liked, I'd get it since she hated my last one. So yeah, got a new hat. Oh yeah, off to a good start. Yeah, it worked out. Look at these guys. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. This swan's got my line caught around him. Turn around, swan. Turn around. Oh, jeez. That was a nightmare. Small nightmare. No freaking way, dude. First fish here. It's a freaking pike. Get my net out of here. There we go. Top notch. Wow, that is something. Only been out here for, I don't even know, 15 minutes, but first fish and my first pike ever. Do both at the same time here, I guess. It's a slippery little thing. That's why I probably can't hold on to it. There we go, first pike. We'll have to uh, get a weight on him and see what he is. Hi. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Big teeth though. Very cool. Let's get a quick weight on him. I'm gonna go ahead and say he's 24 inches long maybe. So let's uh, get a weight on him real quick and get him back in the water. Have to take the weight of the net out afterwards, but 3.92. All right, Mr. Pike, thanks for making my morning nice. Let's let him go. There he goes. All right, see you later. 1.2, just round up, round down, I guess. 2.7 pounds on the pike. Right on, that's awesome. First pike ever. And it's in, uh, it's right here in the UK. Not a monster by any means, but uh, we've got we've got time today. See what else we can get into. I'm, I'm still excited for a perch. Never caught a perch either. And I feel like we have a pretty decent chance of getting one of those too. Let me 
maybe they're right there in that little puddle. So this uh, whole area here, you can see the power line. No fishing, that's what I keep saying. I keep wondering if I keep going this way, if I'll get out from underneath these power lines and finally be able to fish again. If not, then we're just on a really nice walk. Really nice, cool day. Couldn't have asked for better weather. Obviously rained this morning, but now it's quite nice. Aylston Meadows, left or right? Right kind of follows the power lines, left kind of goes outside of them. Uh-huh, uh-huh, no fishing beyond this point. So, I guess we're free to fish again. Ooh, got something. Oh, it's a very little baby pike. He had an appetite though. <laughs> Can I have my lure back then, Mr. Pike? No, if he'd just give me back my swim bait. There we go. It's funny, I've, I don't have any experience with these fish, but they're so cool. They're like little snakes, little snake fish. And I want to lip them so bad. Very cool fish anyway. Let's get this guy back in the water before he uh, gets tired. And back in the water. Well, there uh, seems to be some fish eating along the top over here. They're very small, only like six inches long or shorter. And I can tell they have kind of red tails, red fins on them. I'm gonna have to look through my identification book and see if I can see anything. They might be juveniles of something, you know, small perch or something like that. In which case, maybe we'll get the maggots out and try for them. All right, looking at the old Carl and Alex simple fishing guidebook here. I mean, there are some that have red tail. I mean, graylings got a red tail. Perch obviously have red fins and tails. Red as fin, red fins there. There's so many of them though. I just don't know. This is pretty cool actually. So these are very, very small hooks here. And you open this up, how easy is that? It's so convenient. You just get one, take it out. And boom shaka waka. Okie dokie, very small hook. Waggler, it says on the waggler. I don't know if you can see that two plus one BB, which I'm hoping means one BB. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but we're gonna throw it out there and just see if I need to take one off, then or put one on, then we'll adjust it as we go. Here's our maggots. I do believe you just kind of hook them on the end here, and that way they uh. Keep wiggling. We're gonna toss some out here. Alrighty, first float. Wish me luck. Okay, well, it seems to be sitting. Can't really tell. Oh, okay. There we go. Look at that. Easy peasy. Hey, hey. Look at this guy. Okay, alright. So, what do we got here? Is this a roach or is it something else? There you go, Mr. Fish. You relax right there for a bit while I get my book out. This is so fun. Okay, let's look. Got our book. I am going to say that is a roach. Now look like a roach to you. The red is more yellow according to the book. So I'm going to assume it's a, it's a roach. So this is where I'll put in English fish lesson number one. I've heard different renditions of this in multiple articles and with the help of some people in the comments. And to me, the biggest difference between a rud and a roach is the dorsal and pelvic fin alignment. The rud and roach both have colorful fins, eyes, and depending on the time of the year can appear silver in color. But a roach's dorsal and pelvic fins vertically align with each other, where ruds do not. So hopefully if you're trekking around in the future and questioning your catch, this will be helpful. I love this. I love that every fish I catch is like a new species. So cool. So cool. Just had a chat with the guy that came by there. So I didn't get to, uh, didn't film putting the roach back in. But yeah, super cool getting that little roach. And uh, everyone that keeps coming by here is so friendly. They're all asking me about fishing in the United States. All want to know about bass fishing and stuff like that. So super cool. I'm enjoying this. This is a really cool experience so far. Though I will say I had my first run in with some stinging nettles. And, uh, and my fingers are still kind of stinging right now. <laughs> Whoops, not like poison ivy, though I'm sure I'll, I'd rather have this than poison ivy. We'll just have to see. Oh, very small, another little roach. But there we go, another little roach. Such pretty, pretty fins on these guys. Oh, must have found a school of them or something. Got more of them now. Ooh, this one's got real pretty 
bright orange eyes, complimenting a fish's eyes. Never knew I'd be here in life. There we go. Another little guy. Very pretty eyes. Look at those things. Very cool. I think we've got one on there. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think we need to get the fish identification book out again. <laughs> could be a little dace, maybe. Or it could be a little baby chub. What do you think? A little baby dace? Or is it a little baby roach? All right, English fish lesson number two. I was pretty determined when I caught this that this was a dace. And what I remembered later on that I didn't remember while I was filming this is that the biggest difference between a small chub and a dace is the anal fin. The dace's anal fin is concave, whereas a small chub's anal fin is convex. So my advice is to take good photos of all the fins elongated if you're having trouble identifying your fish. Luckily, I was able to go back through this film and see that the fin was indeed concave, which confirmed my day suspicions. Just taking up the whole trail, aren't you? It has been a long time since my last bite, but I was reeling this one in and I could tell something grabbed it and it had stripes on it. So I think it might've been our first perch, but didn't hook up. Let's, uh, let's keep throwing this out and see if we can get him. Ooh, might have to get the net out again. Cool. There we go. Another pike on the day. Pretty cool. I am getting pretty excited to fish for these back in the U.S. These are pretty cool fish. Really slimy, but uh, yeah, really cool. Yeah, I feel. Show us his teeth though without biting me. That's pretty wild. Really cool fish though. Let's get this out of his uh, mouth and uh, get him back in. All right, bye buddy. That was cool. Oh my goodness. I literally just put my camera away too. I could see it getting hit under there. I could see it. There we go. Our first perch. Yep, let's get the hook out of you, bud. Don't need that anymore, do ya? Well, hopefully we can save the big camera, but look at that guy. First perch. He couldn't be, I don't even know, seven inches long and a few ounces, a quarter of a pound, if that. Kind of, I mean, he, honestly, because he's so slender, he's, he's probably smaller than a lot of bluegill that we have back home, sunfish and whatnot. But right on, first screen, little, uh, little perch, beautiful stripes on him, and that will work. All right, bud, there you go. Nice. I had just caught that pike and I was like, uh, I'll do a few more casts. It's just, it's such a nice looking area. Look at this. You've got the tree that's down low right there. You've got this stuff hanging down into the water and I just keep casting it in this direction. The, the pike I actually caught right here, casting out towards this tree and he came out of the, out of the stuff right there. But you see this, you just, you gotta take advantage of it. Throw out that little uh, soft swim, just take advantage of it. Well, if I was smart, I would end it right here. We've caught what? A possible dace, roach, uh, perch, pike. Is that it? Maybe. I don't know. I think it's a pretty good day, everybody. This has been a lot of fun out fishing. We got two more days of this, and I am super excited for it. So uh, let's keep making our way down, see if we catch anything else. Otherwise, I, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy right now. The perch right here. I think I scared him away. The water is so clear. Look at this guy. Righto, righto. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Now that's a nicer perch. Good deal. Pretty fish, man. Oh, we're gonna have to get the camera out for this guy. Ask anyone after that last pike and perch. I would have said I was content with where we were 
didn't need anything else. But then this guy came along to show that the perch can get bigger. And he's still pretty small, you know? I mean, these guys can get big when we first got them. In fact, I might dip them in the water just to see if that spunks them up. So this would be like as close to bass as you might get in the UK. These guys with their their little fins. Get closer to the camera so you can see them. But yeah, look at that. Very pretty, you know. And look at that fin. Stand that up. Got to get the point there. There we go. That's nice. Real nice. Well, I don't know. Might try to weigh him just to see. Just to see. Got 1.76. So minus 1.2. We're looking at 0.56. So half a pound. I know these guys get a lot bigger. And if you were uh, a perch fishing person, you're probably laughing at the size of this guy. Me so excited about it. But I mean, I am excited about it. <laughs> I didn't think I'd catch another one. And uh, a bigger one at that. I mean, it took me all day to catch that smaller one, and now we got this one. So, yeah, let's get him back in the water. This is pretty cool. Okay, let this guy go finally. There he goes. Top notch. Good deal. Very pretty colors on him. How's it going? Good. Say what? Good? Oh yeah, caught a few here and there. A little bit of everything. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yep, thank you. Okay, that was kind of humorous, but at the same time I had it coming. I knew after that last pike, he had kind of like a... I, he'd roughed up the, the fluorocarbon. I could feel it, and I thought, ah, especially with these little perch I'm catching, it doesn't seem to really hurt it that bad. And uh, I was reeling it past these weeds right here, and I could see the weeds move, and I thought, Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if it's a pike. And I felt my line move, you know, like a, the lure had been taken and I went to set it. There's nothing there. <laughs> Just absolutely took it and broke the line. So uh, yeah, definitely should have cut the line or retied it. Well, there we go. Another pike. Love these guys. A lot of fun, honestly. Good old teethers. Pretty cool. Get you back in. Oop. Cool. Easy peasy. Oh, this guy came out of nowhere, like six feet from the bank. Mm. Cool, this little spot's been pretty great. Got a pike and a perch. Couldn't have asked for much more. There we go. Beautiful, showing off his fins and everything. Very cool. We switched to this, uh, I don't even know what to call. It's like, a, it's like a plastic version of a woolly bugger or something like that. And it's been doing great. We've been catching them left and right. Let's throw him back and then move on, I think. Molly, make sure you're following. How's it going, guys? We got the rowing teams out today, rowing up and down the canal. It's kind of cool. Definitely have the ones getting coached and the ones just kind of doing their own things out here. If we see anything that looks amazing, I cast out towards it. I am prepared with a jig head and a little soft uh, swim bait of some sort, but really the goal today is to go down to a park um, somewhere that has some uh, rushing water so that we can go after a different type of fish. If you're coming to the UK and you're fishing around, realize that, you know, going to a new area with different types of cover, different types of, you know, if it's still water in one area versus a moving water versus rushing water, you may find different fish. And so that's what our goal is. We're gonna make it out to some different areas um, than we fished at before with all the pike and perch. And hopefully 
get into some chub and if we're lucky maybe a barbel but I don't think we'll get one it would be uh, it would be pretty sweet if we did though but let's get to walking because we've got like a mile to go or something like that so let's just see how easy this is Still walking, but wanted to say since it started raining here, if you come here and you know you got your fishing days, you know Tuesday, you know Wednesday, Thursday, or something like that, and you see on the weather forecast, you know it's raining every day um, between three hours or something like that. Don't fret. Um, this, what's going on right now, is is raining, quote unquote. Um, it's it's like a slight drizzle. It's like uh, the mist setting on your hose. It's really light, nothing to worry about. Um, probably rains much harder at uh, certain days, but just realize when you see three days of rain, that's most likely what's gonna be. Hi there, pup. Random dog. Evidently, I was so infatuated with uh, the rushing water that didn't realize I needed to turn there. So we're on the uh, we're on the bridge that goes over the rushing water right now. Should lead us down to uh, closer to the water surface again in case we see something pikey. Oh, we just got into a pretty good sized pike, everybody. I just hope he doesn't break the line off. Looks like we've got him hooked up pretty good. I was uh, thrown along this side here yeah he's he got some got some mite into him. might be a little bit bigger than the last one I've caught anyway okay. nice. Nice one. yeah not too bad mm -hmm. first one I've seen in six months oh really yep. all right let's see if I can get him here Just realizing now what's going on my net does reach down to the bottom, which is good. Come on, there we go. Top notch. Good deal. He's a little bit bigger, isn't he? I thought, it's funny, because, uh, yeah, like I said, I was looking around down here, and I thought something might come out of the weeds here, but actually he came from the middle and attacked it. I could see him. I love these pike because of that. They're such a golden color that uh, when they come and strike it, you know, they flash in the, in the light of the sky. It's kind of cool being able to see them do that. And I'm just glad he didn't break the line because if he would have gulped it, this guy looks like he might have been big enough to break the line. So good deal. Let's get him out. All right. Well, got our first pike of the day anyway. Did not expect that, but he is a little bit bigger than the last one anyway. There we go, a little bit bigger than the last one. Last one was 2.72 pounds, I believe. So uh, we'll definitely have to see what this guy weighs. See if we've beat it. But I love those teeth, man. Those teeth are gnarly. Super cool, though. See a fish like that. And to, uh, to watch it come after your lure in the water is super cool as well. Very cool. Let's get him back in the net. We'll weigh it real quick. And get him back in the water. All right, so the net weighs 1.2, so this is going to be uh, 3.7, I guess. 3.73. Nice, a little bit bigger, pound anyway. Get him back in the water here without dropping the net. There you go, Mr. Pike. Look at him down there. He just blends right in like a bunch of leaves, doesn't he? Well, we made it to a park. Be interested to see if there's any like no fishing signs or something like that. There is a pond in the middle of the park and then there's uh, the river that goes around it. River Soar um, and then another one, I'm not really sure. So let's go take a look. Could be cool to see what kind of stuff 
we can catch on a float in the pond and then uh hopefully on the other side we can get in some chub or something like that fingers crossed well this looks all right looks like what we were going for anyway not sure how we're gonna net them we got a giant rat dead down there that's something seems to be quite a bit of trash in here but uh eh. always seems like there's trash everywhere so let's uh let's see what we can do here if we get something I'm not really sure what we're gonna do we're gonna have to walk it somewhere to be able to net them should be interesting okay so using a fairly simple setup I hope it'll work anyway we've got split shot on here for our weight um, what we're gonna do we got some spam and we just cut a little uh, little piece here and we're going to put this through basically we're, we're throwing the hook in here we might turn it to hook into the back side and with all with all luck this will stay on and when we toss it out there it'll just be a piece of luncheon meat on the bottom waiting for a bite well I actually threw out there a lot of better than I thought it would but now we just need to be patient the least action packed fishing we've had since we've got here but hopefully we get a new species and if not, then we just leave here without any species. Yeah. This is what we keep seeing. And I think we might have found the culprit. So see this right here. Seems that there's uh, some crawfish in here. So I wonder if they're coming along to my spam and uh, thinking it's a nice little treat. Well, no luck around here anyway. Seeing a big tree. It looked like a redwood back there. And when you get back over to the pond over here, there is a no fishing sign, so no fishing as well. I guess we'll go back along the canal. Go back along the canal and see if we can find anything. And uh, I don't know. Go back to perch and pike fishing if anything. We gave uh, the chub a, a chance, I guess. You know, we tried. What else can you say? Something had it there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my God, you cannot believe how happy I am right now. You cannot believe this. All that walking. All that walking to go find a chub and we caught it in this little canal. You've got to be joking me. Look at that. Amazing. All right. This came at such a surprise. I cannot believe it. I uh I was such I was so down after not catching anything at that last place. But there we go, our first chub. Another species. Let's see into his mouth there. It's a hungry boy cool fish man and uh what a surprise to get him hooked up on the little maggots in the canal there that was something else not sure how big they get but i do know i've seen some you know that that obviously take two hands to hold so anyway let's get this guy back in the water super cool catching my first chub um and uh maybe we'll get into some more who knows Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, that was pretty wild. Had that uh, boatman get stuck in the uh, vegetation coming up the river, and they uh, needed help pulling him out. So that was an interesting experience. I did not think that I would be a part of, but you know what? We got him out of there, so that's good. Well, I think we're gonna end it there for this one. Um, Pike, Chubb, expected more, but I just, I, I went to the wrong area, I guess, today and ran out of time, so. But I think it's great. We did catch a Chubb, which is something we were going after, and we didn't waste a lot of time going after the same fish we had already caught. So, worked out in our favor. If you enjoyed the video, obviously hit the like button. Um, I know I was here for three days and we only fished for two. And that's just kind of how it goes sometimes, but I hope you enjoyed it. I had a good time. Um, I'm thinking about putting together a video of kind of things to think about if you're uh, coming to the UK wanting to do some fishing. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that. Hopefully we can get that out soon and uh, get you prepared if you ever decide to come here or on a whim or something like that. So, anyway, take care. We'll see you next time. And as always, remember everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more content in the future. Feel free to check out a few of our other videos on the Modern Day Outdoorsman or check out BZ Hub, our outdoor gaming channel, with new videos every week.